You are welcome to DevTut Academy, where we are devoted to building academic excellence in students in the STEM subjects. Our video today is going to be the response to one of the comments from one of our bearing and distance questions. In this particular video, there was this particular comment from one of our subscribers, I believe he's a subscriber, Abugo Ernest, and he was saying that there's this particular question that he wants us to help look at and you can see help me on this sir. so this video ns is particularly for you so if you're also out there and you want us to also attend to your question just leave a comment subscribe to the channel tell your friends about it and with that we can build academic excellence in students so here we are being told the question that the bearing of a company from the sick bay so we are taking the bearing from the sick bay is 310 degrees then furthermore, from the commandment office, which is 317 meters due east of the Sig Bay, the bearing of the company is 288 degrees. We have to find the distance between the company and the Sig Bay. So, this is what we are going to do. The first thing is to make sure that we get diagram correctly using the four cardinal points, north, south, east and west. We start taking bearing from the north and go in a clockwise direction, okay? But we know that for each of the four quadrants, each one is ideally going to take 90 degrees. So if you are to take the bearing from the sick bay, we need to measure 310 degrees. So in the first quadrant here, we have 90. But since it's bearing, we use three digits. So that's 0, 90. Again, between east and south, that's 90. Between south and west, that's another 90. The three of them constitute 270 degrees, okay? Measured from the north. But we are going to 310 degrees. So we just need to add that extra little that is remaining for us to get 310 degrees starting from the north. So if you go to the Sig Bay and we draw our four cardinal points north, south, east and west, then we start taking the bearing. So we know that angle at the point is ideally 360 degrees. So if we want to take it from the north towards the western direction, we can deduct 310 from 360 and that will remain 50. So we can also measure from the back, but we need to understand that it's ideally taken from the north. So if we draw our angle like that, okay, that's the bearing of the company from the sick bay. We take it from the sick bay, so we can use greening to donate the bearing, okay. So this is 310 degrees from the north to the inclination of the company to the sick bay. So here we have the company at the uppermost part of the diagram. Then furthermore, we are told that 317 meters due east of the sick bay. Let me clear this board so that I can draw out the issues I want to pick from the question directly. Okay, now we are being told that 317 meters due east of the sick bay. So we need to take the sick bay and measure 317 meters due east of it. Okay, so now this is the sick bay S. And then we have the north, the south, the east, and the west. We are told it is to the east of the sick bay. So we just need to go to the sick bay and take our distance, measure to the east, just as it's being shown. And then that will take us to the office of the commandant. Okay, I can call that office, office of the commandant. Let me call it O. So we have O for the office of the commandant, S for the sick bay, C for the company. And then we are not told that that distance is 317 meters. Good and noted. Then the bearing of the company from the office of the commandant we are given to be 288 degrees. So we just need to find a way to represent that correctly. Just as we did before, if we draw our four cardinal points, north, south, east, and west, we know that 288 degrees is more than 270, is greater than 270 degrees. So, it will also lie in the fourth quadrant, because now, this is 270 degrees, so this will be in the fourth quadrant, and in short, we can say, for us to get the remaining angle, we can subtract 288 from 360, that will give us 25. 15 minus 8, that's 72. So we can measure 72 from the north. Okay? So if we take that bearing from the office of the commandant, we can now use green ink again to denote, yeah, this is 288 degrees. And you can see, 
the 288 degrees is less than the 310 degrees that we measured initially and this is what is going to help us to get our question appropriately once we have the diagram then we can use that the formula that we can use in the sine or the cosine but let's simplify this diagram now looking at let's take the point of the sig bay we know that angles at a point they sum up to 360 degrees so now we have taken 310 degrees out of 360 so the remaining between the blue and the north between the blue and the north line is 50 degrees but between the north and the east is a right angle so the total of that angle from the bearing of the coming from the sig bay to the east is 140 degrees that is 50 plus 90. also at the office of the commandant we have taken out 288 degrees okay but we know that from the north to the west that's 270 so the remaining year will be 288 minus 270 okay and that will give us 18 degrees so this is a diagram that we can use judiciously to solve our question we know the side we are looking for the distance between the company and the sig bay and if we want to label appropriately O, the side facing O will be small O, that is the distance we are looking for. The side facing S will be small S, and the side facing C will be small C, which was given as 317 meters. So this is the diagram that we can now use, and if I want to draw out the diagram neatly, I will do as shown. So we have C, S, and O, and here we have 140 degrees, here we have 18 degrees, and we are looking for O, we have 317 meters as C. Now, looking at this diagram, for us to solve this particular question, I think sine rule will be ideal, but we need to know two angles and one of the side facing the angles to so find the other angles. And looking at this triangle, we can say the sum of angles of a triangle is 180 degrees, such that the remaining angle that we have left which is x so we can say x will now be 180 degrees minus the sum of 140 and 18 that is 158 degrees okay now 180 minus 158 that will be 22 degrees so here we have x to be 22 now what would be ideal for us in such a case like this is to use the sine rule okay sine rule will be the best bet for us and why is that we know an angle we know x and the side facing that angle okay then we have another angle we have this other angle 18 and we are looking for the side facing that particular angle so sine rule is our best bet to solve this type of question and what the sine rule is telling us is telling us that this side sc which is o that we are looking for sc over the sine of the angle facing it, that is sine 18, is equal to the other side that we know, SO, SO, which we know as 317 meters, over the sine of the angle facing it, that's sine S, and we know S is 22 degrees, they are equal to each other. So, a side over the sine of the angle facing that side is equal to another side over the side of the angle facing that other side all right so with this we know that we are looking for sc okay so if we just make sc the subject of the formula we can say sc is equal to um so which is 317 meters 317 sine 18 degrees over sine 22 so we have sine 22 degrees so we can take our calculator to solve this and we are going to have 317 sine 18 you can close the bracket divided by sine 22 and checking that I have the correct value I can press the equal to sine so this 261.5 so this is 261.5 meters and that is the solution to this particular question so abu Gwenest, this is the help that you are looking for i hope you are going to find this video useful to also build your understanding of questions on bearing and distances and if you are also out there watching as a result of the question that ns asks this is also your opportunity you can leave your comments in the comment section let's get the feedback from you so that we know 
where we can help you build that academic excellence. And more importantly, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the videos, share with your loved ones, share with your friends, share with your younger ones. Let's build academic excellence student in students and we know we can really make a positive impact. It's Day to Academy and until next time, God bless you.